We are nine days to the end of January, and yes, I have been keeping count. It's been a really long month, people. Welcome to Popcasa. I am Sheon Van Curley. Now, let me give you a hint of what we have in store for you today. Today, we talk about office misconduct. Yes, we'll also get into what Hollywood actor and producer Nick Cannon has to say about his body. And we also have the itch. This time, someone is blaming Nollywood for some of Nigeria's societal ills. Hmm. All right, we'll go on a quick break now, and when we come back, I will introduce you to my guest. Welcome back to Popcasa. Now, dropping their hot takes on these issues with me are Obiano Ju Ohakwe, aka Uju. She is a mercenary author. And we have Trust Roy, entertainment producer here at New Central. Welcome to the show, guys. <laughs> Thank how are you doing? How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. How are you, Trust? You're I'm looking alive. like a bag of money. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get into it. South African radio personality, television presenter, actress, DJ and TV producer Dino Ranaka will be taking a first break from her current job at Metro FM after the radio station suspended her for participating in the viral Amapiano Umlando dance challenge. You know that challenge, right? Yeah. So the Umlando challenge sees men and women showing off their dance skills by shaking their hips from side to side and up and down in different creative locations around them. We've seen the challenge done in malls, bathrooms, parking lots, and offices. And that brings me to why the popular radio personality might have been suspended. Now, Ranaka shared a video of herself participating in the popular Amapiano dance challenge while at work. And it has ended in premium tears. Let's check it out. <laughs> Now, people on social media are divided as some applaud her employer for being strict, whereas others feel that the punishment was a bit harsh. As seen in that video, what might have landed her in pepper soup was the fact that she can be seen on top of desks and chairs around the radio station. Now, this is not the only case we've heard of. One time, it was some Nigerian female custom officers, I'm sure you remember, oh, yeah, when they did I that do. one with files. Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. Now, this week, another lady who also posted a video of her taking part in the challenge said that she has lost her job. Aminu Zubi said she lost her job after participating in a voiceover challenge for a telecommunication brand. Brand. Now, I feel like she did that for clouds because after checking her page, I realized that she's a TikTok actress. But I have questions. <laughs> First off, guys, have you ever participated in any of those viral challenges? You know, the I, dancing, I, the singing, whichever one. Have you I ever done one? I think I have, huh? maybe. I, maybe. You look like I, someone. I I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I did the Sweet Boy Association, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> As Sweet Boy Challenge was not a challenge now. Uh, Uju, have you ever participated? No, I haven't. Singing? I have. Voice? A, uh, no. you, don't, you don't look like you, you like social media. Not really. I'm always behind the scenes. Okay. <laughs> so you have done the Sweet Boy I, I th Challenge. I think, I think, never. yeah. All right. So what do you guys think about doing challenges in the office space? Uh, okay. It's okay. a funny subject, really, because I mean, office conduct. You have to. There are rules, right? Yeah, there are rules and there are rules that yeah. you have to follow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> when you start jumping on desks and chairs, just to, okay. So it's fine to do challenge in the office, but not desks no, and chairs. No, you can do it at home. You, you don't like to share with us, so it's fine. <laughs> trust, <laughs> trust, what do you well, think? Well, as you know, mm -hmm. we at NC yeah. are very proud yeah. owners and you know. <laughs> Enthusiasts for challenge. All right. I mean, Oli and yes. um, and Oluchi, Oluchi, yeah. Yeah, on Breakfast always, Central, guys. Are always on challenges. So mm -hmm. I feel it, it really depends on the challenge. Of yeah. Course. Anything yeah. that will not destroy office props. I mean, she'll stand on tables and desks at her office. Uh, not, not really ideal. Mm. But it's a distraction as well. I mean, so you know how radio stations are more lenient than TV stations? Of course. And because it, it feels like radio stations are more into like the entertainment line as well. Right. So yeah. yes, they can always, you know. So in her case, do you think the punishment was too harsh? Honestly, no. Yeah, I think so. Eh. Yeah, so is, you know, let's just a, assume that is Bay, just, you it are the... It looks pretty harmless. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They often say no publicity. I think it's funny. Publicity. And I think it's supposed to give the company even more Some kind of PR, yeah, right? Would you? Mm -hmm. You have a radio station and you find this video online on your table that you bought with your I think, money. No, Shad, this yeah. was extreme. This, this yeah, was, this that's what you said about the desks and chairs. I right. mean, that uh, was extreme. Uh, this is a lot. 
right? Lot, so you, you, you think the punishment was not too harsh, based on say is a lot. Yes. It was well, too well, harsh. I, I feel right. like the fact that we don't have all the story, we don't have all the sides of the story. Right. What if she True. had done something like because this particular um, mm -hmm. um, on her personality, mm -hmm. she's always in the news for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. She's she's popular in South Africa. So maybe she's, always, she's cuckoo scandal. Yeah, so she has done something before. And, and they've given her like before. yeah, yeah. yeah. first strike, yeah. second strike. Are we climbing Chedi your world? Yeah. So now they just said, "Oh, you know what? This babe, go and chill at home first. All right. When you're ready to have sense, you can come back." Yeah, okay. <laughs> now going to content creation. Do you people think people are taking content creation too far? You know, yes. content creation for business Absolutely. or trends. Absolutely. Yes. People are taking it really How far. How come yes. I don't share your sentiment? A, a perfect example oh, is right. Joe Boy's alcohol challenge. Okay. Oh. It was it was a mess. Because oh. I mean, people were doing the most the most absurd things just to trend on social media, pouring palm oil on themselves, the oil. drinking. Oh. Ah, mm. come on now. But let us establish the fact that content creation is not entirely bad in itself. No, it's not. It's, it's a business now. Mm -hmm. People people legit do like I wish. No, I wish I. But some people are actually taking it too far. I but mean, did you see the video of that girl that recorded herself crying? Yeah, there's also the fake it till you make it like. Okay, like fake you it till tell you your it. child to cry because of YouTube views. Right. Yeah. That's a lot. And that I video, think... yes, uh, I saw. I saw that video yesterday about the girl that was in the telecommunications skinny. I was like, ah, ah. The video she posted, she was in a hotel. Was like, How is the hotel? How is this bed, your office space, and mm. you're pulling some guy? Kind of, it's it's so... not just. I really it's well for my <laughs> So I think we should just leave people with this. If you are a content creator, just yeah. try to not overdo it and don't go outside your box. If your company yeah, yeah. has limits, rules, and regulations, it's fine to try and do it. Don't fine be shakwetary about it. <laughs> okay, would you say don't be shakwetary about it? You got that. <laughs> All right, I have a special guest joining us for this next story. OG, as he likes to be called, is a radio presenter in Enugu. Welcome to Popcasa, OG. Oh, Hi, guys. Nice Hi, OG. Hi, OG. Hi. All righty. Okay, we have you on standby. Now, American comedian, actor, rapper, television presenter, and producer Nick Cannon is opening up about something that men rarely talk about. Oh. Are you ready for this one? The TV host mm. has confessed that he feels insecure about his skinny body, and he hides under the covers when he's getting intimate. Oh, my goodness. The 41-year-old actor popular for hosting the Nick Cannon show Wild and Out, America's Got Talent, Lip Sync Battle Shorties, and the Max Singer hosted a man panel on the Wednesday's episode of his self titled daytime talk show. The panel consisted of Dr. Ish Major, Mike Sorrentino, aka The Situation, Chris Stefano, and Rip Michaels. Alongside Canon, the men discussed their insecurities in the bedroom. Let us listen to what they said. I'm actually, I've been skinny all my life. Yeah. So therefore, I've never liked to be completely naked. Oh. When so like it's it, it's it's usually or like I hide under the cover. Yeah. As much as I I, I, yeah. I boast about being yeah. in shape and yeah. stuff, I just keep like yeah, the shirt on. You ever Winnie the Pooh? It? Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually I've been skinny all my life. Yeah. So therefore I've never liked to be completely naked. Oh. When so like it's it, it's it's usually or like I hide under the cover. Yeah. As much oh. as I I, yeah. I boast about being yeah. in shape. And Ooh. So after the Stefano asked if he ever win the pose, meaning wearing a shirt with no bottom, Cannon said that he's got to have some type of clothes, some type of socks on during sex. He said, and I quote, so that's my insecurity mm. before he now asks the group of mm. them. So my question is, <laughs> this is Problem. a conversation that men really, and I'm happy we have two guys and two ladies on the show yeah. today. So men really talk about insec their insecurities, insecurities openly. Yes. But one would not expect it's coming from Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, just so you know, has seven children with four different women. <laughs> First Emphasis of all, on the numbers. Nick Cannon. Emphasis on the numbers. numbers. Yes. How do you have seven children with four women? Yeah. And four women are mothers. We don't know about the other ones that do. Do you get the ones that refuse to come out? You have he has a child of Maria Carey. He has, he has um, two. Alicia he has Scott. twins. Scott. One bell lady like that. Is the is the effort for me? Oh, oh. I stand the no. canon, man. <laughs> All right, so um, trust. Yeah. Guys never talk about their insecurities. insecurities. I want to ask you: Have you ever felt insecure about any part of your body? Yes. Ah, hey. I love this episode. There's a lot of insecurity going on here. Okay. okay, because we're we're talking about insecurities. So I think my first experience with insecurities was when I was. Um, in secondary school. Okay. So really young, GS2, I think. Hmm. And I started having P 
cute. This is super story. Do you get? So there was this time where we were having the house pot and stuff, and okay. I was just standing outside, and my hand, arms were up like this. And one senior just saw me, like, hey, this small boy, you know, the group, you have your phone there. Oh, it was so embarrassing. Me. I ran out, yeah, just knew. Oh, goodness. So, like, that was like, I started getting conscious of my body at yeah. that early age, and growing up later, gaining weight, having stretch marks on my arm, mm. and all those things. Those are like mm. my first experience with, you know, being okay. self aware of my body okay. and having, you know, some kind of insecurity. Okay, okay, so be our Aspire to Perspire man today, our motivational speaker. What do you say to guys? You know, guys usually would not even talk about the body insecurities. <laughs> How have you handled it over the years? Uh huh. Uh huh. I feel, I feel like it's. Um, how did I handle it? Say? Mm -hmm. This is not something <laughs> I thought OG. <laughs> okay, yes, let's ask OG. Okay, OG will definitely have something to say about this. <laughs> he should. Hi, OG. You look Hi, very fine, you know. I'm sure you got some six packs going on over there. You look no, so no, cute. And then the beard. <laughs> <laughs> so, OG, have you ever felt insecure about any part of your body? Yes, when I started losing my hair. Ah, I can relate. Oh. <laughs> when I realized yeah. that I was going to be bald forever. Any other thing? Um, no. Okay, no, really. so tell us, how have you handled the hair one? Okay. Um, I, you know what it is. You know, a bunch of guys, is, I'm, I'm bearded. Thanks to our Heavenly Father. Glory! So it, doesn't really get to <laughs> so it doesn't really get to me on that level. Okay. You know? Okay. Um, I think initially, yeah. when I was much younger, when I was, uh, like... I used to get teased a lot, especially mm. in primary school. So mm. I, I used to feel some type of way. But then girls started moving to me. So I was confused. Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> oh, gee. Hear me. Why are women moving to me? I, I think that's how I sort of moved beyond that point of feeling secure about my body. Okay. So um, what's the extreme case of insecurity you've had from another man in your zone? <laughs> I know of some chick who was, no, it wasn't even a man. There was a friend of mine, very close, who okay. started starving herself because a guy she liked oh. said mm. she was big. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Mm. Over mm. to you, Uju. I had something. Women would usually talk about their insecurities. Yes. I mean, not like we are proud about it, but compared to the guys, we are more vocal about it. Have you ever, ever, ever? I like you, BBB, big be, 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 gold and beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Chocolate shining. Period. Have you ever had any insecurity um, about your body? Well, not really about my body. Okay. Okay. Um, while I was very much younger, mm. I, I think I was about five. Then, you know, I had issues with my sight. Okay. And yeah, so I had to start using glasses at a very, very oh. young, young age. age. So to me, I didn't want to. You know, I had friends that I felt I looked weird. I looked, you know, I, I would lose all my friends, you know. So it was a bit of a struggle for me, you know, growing up using glasses, not having to dress a certain way because, I mean, the glasses would spoil the funk. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so I faced that. And also, um, I think in my, you know, teenage years, mm -hmm. I had a bit of... Um, body dysmorphia <laughs> Ooh, yeah okay. you want to tell so, us what that is um i'm on the big side okay she's trying to say <laughs> that she, she's plus <laughs> yeah i'm plus size and then i had friends that you know were slim and like me exactly <laughs> and i wanted to really be like that so yeah, i had yeah. I, I was i Doing I, would, I would skip lunch i would mm. do all of that and you know, until I landed in the hospital. So it was a wow. really big deal. Well, okay, so you heard what OG said. He said yeah. his friend had to skip meals because the guy she was dating said she was fat. You are more mm. self-aware, you are more mature, you are more beautiful, you are grown and everything. Oh, I'm Would you it. do that right now for a man? No. Oh, shame. No. <laughs> and that's on period. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a break here. We still have the each coming up and we'll wrap up the conversation with Nick Cannon. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I'm actually, I've been skinny all my life. Yeah. So therefore, I've never liked to be completely naked. Oh. When, so like, it's, it's, it's usually or like a hide under the cover. Yeah. As much oh, as I, I, yeah. I boast about being yeah. in shape and yeah. stuff. You just keep like yeah, a t-shirt on. You ever Winnie the Pooh? Winnie. <laughs> 
You're watching Popcasa on New Central. Now, in case you missed it, American media personality Nick Cannon confessed on his show this week that he has experienced insecurities regarding his body. He has felt so insecure that he wears clothes when he's getting intimate with someone. Now, I still have Uji with me. I have trust. And of course, I have OG all the way from Enugu. So it's easy for me to talk to my friends about my feelings and insecurities, mm. right? But I see that it is not easy for you guys. First question. Why do you guys find it so hard to share, even with each other? Oji, the question is for you. <laughs> I think it's a lot. Ah. First thing is to get it about it, because the way guys approach things like this is way different from the way women will, right? With women, there's a lot more... Vulnerability. I don't know how to explain it. Softness, exactly. Okay. But with guys, there's a lot of, there's a lot of tough love. You're always mm. tightening the world to your chest. Exactly. So it takes some getting used to, you know, before you would let it out gradually, I think. And I think, I think what really helps with um, trying to eventually loosen up is like your association. Okay. It, I, it's, it's, it's not rocket science. There's no news that we have a lot of trash people on earth nowadays. Oh. Hmm. And, and it's, it's, it's rare to find people that are emotionally intelligent because yes. most people have like bad upbringing. They've had like terrible experiences. Oh, so trauma. Exactly. So how do you now relate? A typical like office example. Somebody mm -hmm. sometimes was talking about like his insecurities. Okay. I was being vulnerable sometime in one of the offices I worked in talking about how like he was raped by somebody at some point and like a bunch of people in the office started laughing. Mm -hmm. So I think th those like because he was a guy, somebody I think someone even said, Did you enjoy it? and stuff like that. So I think those are the reasons why like we don't share our insecurities. And I mean Life is hard, Sha. We have a lot of things to talk about. Okay, like so trust, I saw a post recently that yeah. said, my brother loves me, but he will never tell me. Is there a thing with guys where you guys just form hard guy, hard guy from a very young age? And that's why you can't tell each other or your female partners that you're insecure about something. Because in my opinion now, as a very liberal woman, mm. if you tell me your insecurity as my partner or as my friend, right, yeah. It will help me to understand you better, better. and yes. relate better. But you people will be doing and, and, like and, this. And, and I feel it, it, it even helps with your friendship because people what, people don't have conversations anymore exactly. these days. Exactly. People talk about mundane trending things. Trending videos. Trending videos. Have you seen that trending channel? Trending videos. Have you seen have that challenge? Have you seen that new dress? Have you seen this, this person's person video? Have you seen this celebrity? Of course, yeah. Exactly. There's okay. no, there's no so intimacy. People are not having like great okay, conversations. Okay, so this so, is us. Yeah. The Popcatter crew appealing to you people, especially yeah. guys out there. Talk that to your please, friends, talk to your family. You guys should um, talk more, get more intimate. Not intimate like Nick Cannon intimate. Though. Intimate <laughs> like tell you tell your <laughs> friends things. Tell your friends things that is going on with you. Tell your partners. Now OG. OG from yeah. a new girl. <laughs> Define OG. With the Are you, what going is up? Oh, no, 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 Shem, what's, go, what's going on here? Like, I don't understand. I'm like, you saw Fireman and you just <laughs> lost it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's all this? <laughs> all right, OG, what's, what's your last word for um, guys out there on this insecurity thing? Guys need to realize, people generally need to realize that we have just one life. Do you mm. want to leave it Very hiding true. under the shadows or do you want to live your best life this will determine if you should let go of certain insecurities mm, that you know, words leave. on marble live your best <laughs> life <laughs> uji you are female right but then i'm sure you have words for men or even your fellow ladies yeah just live one day at a time mm. don't stress about it even the way you're saying it without stress <laughs> Don't stress about people who understand you, understand you, and people who won't, won't. Trust you? <sighs> Insecurity is a, it's, a, it's a thing. It's a problem. People face it a lot. So if, if, you're, if you're able to find people you could have communications with, I'm sure that's why they have people like mentally aware now. People, mm. there are people online, you could just random people hit up and have conversations yeah. with anonymously mm. so you feel better. So have conversations have with people, conversations, guys. Yeah. All right, thank you for joining us, OG. We'll see you soon. We are moving on to the each now. One person who somehow always has something to say on social media is record producer Sam Clare. He yeah. recently tweeted, he bought Nollywood, English, and Yoruba movies are the reason why a lot of young boys are doing rituals. They Oof. keep promoting fetish stuff in all their movies. Nigerian movie producers can do better. Everything must not be based on juju and religion. This is definitely shots fired. <laughs> now, is, do you agree that Nollywood is somehow responsible for some of the things we are seeing young men get involved in? Do you agree? Yes. Do you agree? I feel like we're blaming the wrong person. Mm. 
we're passing blame to the wrong person. Mm. People people have a lot of influences. I mean, your family is your first circle of influence. Thank you, your so, parents. So so before before even blaming Nollywood, what do you are your parents the people that will tell you if they're coming to look for me in the house, lie that I'm not around. Those are it's the people. It's a thorny subject. Yeah. It's a, it is. All right, people have said that Nollywood promotes domestic violence as well as um, staying in bad relationships. But I feel like we cannot blame the producer of Money Ice. For producing money ice or teaching people bank robbery. Exactly. People made the decision. Yeah. Themselves. We're free now, thank you agents. for joining us on Popcast this week. We'll see you again same time next week. Thank you, Trust, for joining me. Thank, thank you, you, Uju. You were so amazing. Thank you, guys. Bye.